If you like tinkering with electronics, but time constraints and a lack of knowledge are preventing you from making a start, then Arduino is the solution. So what is Arduino? Arduino is a microcontroller-based open-source electronic prototyping board, which can be programmed with an easy-to-use Arduino IDE. Arduino consists of both a physical programmable circuit board and a piece of software. The Arduino IDE uses a simplified version of C++, making it easier to learn. The Arduino platform has become quite popular with people just starting out with electronics, and for good reason. The Uno is one of the more popular boards in the Arduino family and a great choice for beginners. In this video, we'll talk about what's on it and what it can do. The major components of the Arduino UNO board are the following. USB connector, power port, microcontroller, analog input pins, digital pins, reset switch, crystal oscillator, USB interface chip, TXRX LEDs. Now let's take a closer look at each component. The first component is the USB connector. This is a printer USB port used to load a program from the Arduino IDE onto the Arduino board. This board can also be powered through this port. The next component is power port. The Arduino board can be powered through an AC to DC adapter or a battery. The power source can be connected by plugging in a 2.1 mm center positive plug into the power jack of the board. The Arduino UNO board operates at a voltage of 5 volts, but it can withstand a maximum voltage of 20 volts. If the board is supplied with a higher voltage, there is a voltage regulator. It sits between the power port and the USB connector that protects the board from burning out. Now let's take a look at a very important component, microcontroller. It is the most prominently visible black rectangular chip with 28 pins. Think of it as the brains of your Arduino. The microcontroller used on the UNO board is Atmega 328P by Atmel, a major microcontroller manufacturer. Atmega 328P has the following components in it. Flash memory of 32 KB. The program loaded from the Arduino IDE is stored here. RAM of 2 KB. This is runtime memory. CPU. It controls everything that goes on within the device. It fetches the program instructions from flash memory and runs it with the help of RAM. Electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, EEPROM, of 1 KB. This is a type of non-volatile memory, and it keeps the data even after device restart and reset. Atmega 328P is pre-programmed with bootloader, this allows you to directly upload a new Arduino program into the device without using any external hardware programmer, making the Arduino UNO board easy to use. Next is analog input pins. The Arduino UNO board has six analog input pins labeled analog 0 to 5. These pins can read the signal from an analog sensor, such as a temperature sensor, and convert it into a digital value for system understanding. These pins just measure voltage and not the current because they have very high internal resistance. Hence, only a small amount of current flows through these pins. Although these pins are labeled analog and are analog input by default, these pins can also be used for digital input or output. Now let's look at digital pins. You can find these pins labeled digital 0 to 13. These pins can be used as either input or output pins. When used as output, these pins act as a power supply source for the components connected to it, and when used as input pins, they read the signals from the component connected to them. When digital pins are used as output pins, they supply 40 milliamps of current at 5 volts which is more than enough to light an LED. Some of the digital pins are labeled with the tilde symbol next to the pin numbers, pin numbers 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. 
These pins act as normal digital pins, but can also be used for pulse width modulation, PWM, which simulates analog output, such as fading an LED in and out. Next is reset switch. When this switch is clicked, it sends a logical pulse to the reset pin of the microcontroller, and now runs the program again from the start. This can be very useful if your code doesn't repeat, and you want to test it multiple times. Next is the crystal oscillator. This is a quartz crystal oscillator which ticks 16 million times a second. On each tick, the microcontroller performs one operation. For example, addition, subtraction, etc. Now we'll look at the USB interface chip. Think of this as a signal translator. It converts signals in the USB level to a level that an Arduino UNO board understands. The last one is the TXRX indicator. TX stands for transmit and RX for receive. These are indicator LEDs which blink whether the UNO board is transmitting or receiving data. Now that you've explored the Arduino UNO board, you have started your journey toward building your first Internet of Things prototype. How to get started. Buy your Arduino. Install Arduino IDE. Install the libraries. Get familiar with the IDE and the programming language by practicing. Now, bring your ideas to life.